the irony of doing a video about azathioprine and really feeling the side effects of it. Hi guys, welcome to another video for You By Me. Today I wanted to talk about medication that I'm currently on, which is azathioprine. Azathioprine. It took me ages to even know how to say it. It's even harder to spell. When I was first recommended to go on it, I could barely find anything on the internet other than very medical websites and just kind of very black and white, this is what it is, jargon. I thought I'd give, do a little, really quick video just over a little bit of personal experience to hopefully help you either if you're on it and you wanted to relate to a couple of things or if you've been advised to take it and you're currently unsure about whether or not it's right for you. Whew, I feel sick. It's a question that I get asked a lot. And it's something that I think needs to be spoken about. I remember when I got prescribed azathioprine and I was told by my pharmacist, oh, this is a really good medication for you to try and for you to go on. Here's like a printout of all the side effects, see what you think. It wasn't really that much about it. That was pretty much it. If I Googled it, I could barely find anything about it. No one seemed to be talking about it. And that made making the decision about whether or not to go on it really quite difficult. The side effects of it, when you read through it, are pretty scary. Things like increased risks of melanoma, lymphoma, hair loss. I'm probably missing more. I'll Google it. The basis of it is that it's an immunosuppressive, which, I mean, it does what it says on the tin. It suppresses your immune system. One of the biggest side effects is that you are more susceptible to get ill, which kind of freaked me out a little bit. I was thinking, well, I don't want to be ill all the time. I find myself with someone sneezing next to me, like, do you not? Other side effects I was told about are hair loss, extreme fatigue, nausea, joint pain. I feel very sick, like really, really, really sick. So what it does, it suppresses your immune system and therefore reduces the inflammation. Kind of telling your body like, chill out, chill out. And then I was told that it would take around two to three weeks to kick in. You wouldn't feel like an immediate effect. It comes in a tablet form, it tablets every single day. Because you're quite susceptible suddenly to all these different things, luckily your hospital will or should be good enough to offer you blood tests every two weeks. I mean, it's not the most convenient thing. Then you normally have a six week checkup, which is a really important one. This assesses your azathioprine levels just to basically see if you're on the right dosage. There are definitely pros and cons. It's very individual and it's a very personal experience. In terms of keeping my Crohn's under check, azathioprine has been really, really good. Only problem is there are a lot of side effects. For example, fatigue. I am tired all the time. I don't want to moan about it, especially on a Monday morning. We get, it's like, oh my God, yeah, I'm so tired too. Like, oh my God, just like, let's have a coffee. Because we ate that cake this morning. That's why you're tired. Another thing which is unfortunate is hair loss and that is something that I've experienced a lot. It falls out in big clumps in the shower. I'm pulling clumps of it from in between my fingers. It just falls out everywhere. Everywhere. In the first few weeks of taking it, you've got to be really careful and look out for any kind of rashes. You may go straight down to A&E and you'll be seen straight away. This means that you're not reacting right to the medication. I don't know any more than that. Yeah, it's quite a scary decision. I was so stressed about it. I really don't want to go on this. It sounds awful. Why would I want to subject myself to all these horrible side effects potentially? It's all I could think about for a long time. And this guy guy who I work with kind of pointed out to me, he said, well, you know, Lois, if you read the small print on any kind of medication you take, you know, even paracetamol, companies have to list all the side effects, health T's and C's. And he had a pretty good point. If you ever read the small print about health implications and risks, there are loads and loads and loads of potential factors that you just have to be mindful of to make an informed decision. Obviously, you wouldn't be putting people on this medication if the health risks were that bad. There's obviously a slim chance it might not work for you, but there's also a great chance that it could. I guess it's a very personal decision and you have to weigh up if the benefits outweigh the risks, and hopefully they do, and hopefully you respond well to it and it does change your life. Like I said, when I was first told about it and I looked it up, I couldn't find anything about it. And that freaked me out even more to not have someone say, I'm on it, it's fine. If it was that bad, would they be prescribing it? Probably not. As usual with bloody everything in Crohn's, obviously it can be quite isolating. So if you have any questions, message me on my Instagram page or try and leave a comment below. I try and reply to people as often as I can. If you think this has been helpful, then you're welcome. And if you hated this video, Thanks.